Rochester police have determined a deadly fire on Hancock Street last month was started by arson and they've made an arrest the same day the victim was laid to rest. 39 year old LaShawn Scott was arraigned in city court this morning. 78 year old Christine Cannon was killed in that fire. Alex Love joins us from the church where her service was held. Alex. You know, this was a tragic situation, but has a heartwarming ending because at first investigators could not find any relatives of Christine Cannon because it turns out she changed her name back in the 1970s after serving in the U.S. Army. Once that information was released by the coroner's office, her distant relatives learned about her for the first time. Cannon was born as Doris Weisinger on December 23rd back in 1941. She was one of several siblings who over the years went their separate ways decades ago. Since she changed her name, her great niece and nephew, James and Lisa, had no idea she lived in the area. This is the most beautiful part about life, is that a bunch of strangers can come together and, um, and, and lay her to rest together, what she deserves. Even though they only learned about her in the last couple of weeks, this tragedy has brought their family back together with older relatives who moved away years ago. Very surprised. Um, again, she, she changed her name long ago in 1977. So we knew her as Doris Weisinger. And um, so when the name came about as Christine Cannon, we had no idea. So through uh, genealogy and, um, and Van, we were all, this is how we were all connected. My mother calls me and it just floored me. And yes. I just, it's my new buddy, we're yes, gonna right. hang out. Yes, <laughs> right, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Initially, the funeral for Cannon was put on by Rochester business owner Van Stanley, who learned she was an Army veteran. Then other veterans in the community stepped in to honor her life. We think of ourselves as a brotherhood or a sisterhood, and that's displayed here today. Uh, we have a number from our veteran women's coffee house attending, as well as the Blue Star Moms, and we like to think that we leave no one behind. Neighbors of Christine Cannon were also in attendance and they shared that she was a woman who loved arts and crafts, always went to the library to read and loved her animals. And, and as you can imagine, that also meant a lot for the family to learn about that for the first time. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. Alex, thank you. LaShawn Scott, the man accused of starting the fire that killed Cannon, had a lengthy criminal history. He remains in custody at the Monroe County Jail. For more information on this story, you can visit rochesterfirst.com.